Hey survivors, welcome back. This is episode 10 of my survival craft let's play and it's also beer haunting season guys I think he's pretty scared of me, but I ain't afraid of no beer and that is why guys because I am a professional Archer and this guy he is well He is dead And he dropped quite how much fur? Four fur. I have no use for that. I have a cotton farm Which I have not. Um, I say I have a cotton farm. I haven't even Done anything to it for like the last God knows how many episodes or how many days. Um, now last time guys. Last time I had a problem with the uh, the roof. And I still have a problem with the roof. Because I couldn't be bothered to fix it. But now it's just dirt. So uh, when I have guests over and they tell me my house is dirty. Well they won't be wrong. But today guys. Um, I'm not going to fix that basically. Because I'm still lazy. You know what it's like guys. When your house is dirty. You, uh, you just ignore it basically. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head on over to the barn. I want to check in case the uh, the ostrich has laid any eggs. I doubt it has, but i got to check. Because um, I'm still in one of those food shortages, guys. But don't worry, because today's episode is going to be dedicated to fixing that. And um, Ollie, you are a constant disappointment in my life. You can't bury your head in the water about it, mate. You are. You weirdo. Okay, um, so that's what we're doing today. I don't really know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing. Uh, I am going to make a pumpkin farm. Now I've got a decision to make. Do I want to do like a nice pumpkin farm like I did for that cotton farm? I have some pumpkins in my inventory by the way. Or do I want to like utilize this pond and kind of make it... Hey buddy. I have to resist the urge to uh, slay that lion. Do I want to make it a more organic um, farm around this pond. I think I'm going to try the organic thing. Keep, I keep the... See, the thing is about the survival craft, if you have the bow on your bar, you have to have the arrows to reload it, which is kind of, um, it makes life hard. But never mind, I guess it makes it more realistic. So I'm just going to like, I mean, I only have, how many do I have? I don't have many, uh, pumpkins. Oh, okay. It produces quite a lot of pumpkin seeds though. That's good. So I'm just going to like spam this and go around here Pumpkins are a pretty cool source of food because they don't require fertilizer at all even to get like fully grown pumpkins So it should make it fairly easy in order to uh, get food now while I'm quitting this grass It's just reminded me uh, a guy called Gideon. Thank you for your comment Gideon. It was very informative uh, He told me that basically say for example uh, Some of this grass catches fire lightning strikes here the grass catches fire it could spread and burn down the barn. It could kill. Where's, where's uh, Dylan? I think he's there. Yeah, it could kill Dylan. It could kill Ollie. And even more important than those guys, it could ruin all my hard work. And can you imagine, guys? Whoopsie daisy. Can you imagine how I would feel? How angry I would be if the whole thing burned down? I would be absolutely furious. So. Basically, I have to mow the lawn. I have to cut the grass. I have to like run along here like this It's kind of ridiculous like it's cr like I don't want to do chores in survival craft like what? But it has to be done. I guess I mean Oh an egg could I pay somebody to do it? Maybe like I could well I could I, guess I could send the world to one of you guys and I could give you like uh, a few a few broke uh, A few great British pounds. I couldn't decide whether to say pounds or dollars depends on uh where you are in the world, I guess. It could also be Swedish krona or Euros or whatever else. Uh, I could pay you guys to mow my lawn for me and then you could send me the world back. Uh, I guess, I mean, that sounds very inconvenient, but anything to avoid doing work, that's my motto. Uh, I don't, that no, I'm kidding, guys. That motto does not get you very far in life. I wouldn't recommend it. It's, uh, maybe you're lazy like me. So, wait a minute, what, it's getting dark? I just slept. I'm not even kidding, guys. I promise you I just slept. Well, never mind, because I can't really uh, talk and do things anyway, and I have a few things I want to say today. Because uh, I got quite a few good comments on my last uh, episode. I got that informative comment from Gideon, who is uh, being a really nice guy and trying to stop my old house from burning down, just like this roof did. I also got a really cool comment from Chuck, who has been leaving some very, very nice comments indeed. They've been uh, very nice, very kind. Really, 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 really encouraging. 
Uh, very really. Um, that was very kind of you, Chuck. Thank you very much. And he also made the good point, which, you know, guys, it has to be done. I want to test out my archer skills on a, on a feline. Oh, it thinks that roar's intimidating. It's not as intimidating as my bow. Um, so yes, thank you, Chuck, for your very kind words. And also, you made a very good point, which I very much agree with, on, uh, stone roofs, basically. And, uh, that was easy. You were even easier to take down than the beer. Lame. Anyway, uh, thank you, Chuck. I've said thank you, Chuck, a few times. I really agree with your point on uh, houses and the uh, roofs. It's kind of sad that uh, you can't really have wooden roofs because they just burn down. It's uh, kind of lame, to be honest. Like, in Minecraft, you can have wooden roofs. There is lightning in Minecraft. But it always comes with rain, and the rain always puts the fire out, so I don't think you really lose anything. I wouldn't mind if it was just, like, one or two blocks that got burnt. And, uh, I mean, that would make it kind of interesting. But it was, like... A good, um, I'm going to eat this egg just for some inventory space. It was like a good two-thirds of my roof that was, or at least a third of my roof that was gone. I think more, more like two-thirds, to be honest. It was a good portion. And, uh, yeah, like, that's kind of lame. I, I mean, it's kind of cool as well, like, the fact that that mechanic's there. And I love Survival Craft for its realism and how hard it makes things. But sometimes, um, as Chuck said, uh, wooden roofs look more appealing. They look more, uh aesthetically pleasing i was really going for that kind of uh wood cabin aesthetic and instead i ended up with a swiss cheese aesthetic uh, i have filled it in with dirt now but it was very swiss cheesy at the start of last episode um you know I've, i'm kind of over it now i'm i'm very much over it uh i only cried for like 30 35 minutes after that episode finished so uh yeah i've moved on i've i've moved on just, just one second, guys. I just gotta, just gotta do something. Why me? Why does it always have to happen to me? Pull yourself together, Robin. Pull yourself together. Okay, gotta carry on with the episode. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, I just had something in my eye. Uh, I'm fine. I, I, I'm over the loss of the the roof, and I'm gonna fix it probably today, if not next episode, which will be coming very soon. Uh, oopsie daisy. Gotta, gotta mow the. Mow the? No, not mow. What's the word? Till. That's it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hopefully do that today after I've done this pumpkin farm. Now, these pumpkins grow very fast, which is very cool because we're going to make pumpkin pie. We're going to make pumpkin spice lattes. We're going to make, I don't know, any other things that have pumpkin in them. We don't really eat uh, pumpkin here in the UK. I know it's more of an American thing and I guess Canadian thing. Uh, we really don't have like, I don't think you can get pumpkin spice lattes or pumpkin pie in the UK. The only time you'll ever see a pumpkin in the UK is uh, being used for jack-o'-lanterns. That's the only time. Which I guess is probably true for the US as well, but there are more pumpkin-related things there. Uh, yeah, it's weird. There's some differences between America and the UK. When I saw Chuck's name, that was kind of like... I really think your name's pretty cool, Chuck. We don't really have uh, Chucks in the UK. So it was very nice to... I mean, when I see the name, I just think Chuck Norris. I'm sure you get that a lot. But I just think Chuck Norris, which is a... Uh, of course, a very cool guy to be associated with. Just like Robin Hood is a very cool guy for Robin... <gasps> you beautiful, beautiful ostrich. Come here and give me a kiss. I'm kidding, you are uh, repulsive. Well, guys, I think our food troubles between uh, the ostrich farm... Sorry, I shouldn't call this farm. Ostrich uh, nursery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, between that and the pumpkin farm... We are definitely in the food right now. Do I have a... I do have a bucket because I was going to make a proper farm with water and stuff for these pumpkins. But I didn't need to. Which means we can head on over. We can mosey on down back to the uh, Swiss cheese house. And we can cook ourselves up an ostrich egg. That's what I think we're going to do. Man, this is going to be so tasty. Now the question is, how do I like my eggs in the... Uh, well, what time of day is it? Midday? Yeah. How do you like your eggs in the midday? Uh, fried, scrambled. In fact, guys, let me know in the comments how you like your eggs. That's a bit of a strange question, but I'm genuinely... Oh, I actually have food in here as well. Oh, yeah, that's from last episode where I got upset. Uh, I mean, I mean, I was a man. I coped with it like a man. Uh, let me know, guys, how you like your eggs, I guess. I don't really need this ostrich anymore. Is it cooked? Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, I should... I shouldn't cook it because I could throw it into the... Ah. I could throw it... See, I actually have another one here. If I throw it into the enclosure, I could get another ostrich. 
and then Ollie could have a friend. He would be called... Uh, I can't think of any other names that begin with O. Um, Ollie... Holly, the ostrich. It doesn't begin with O, but you know what? It sounds like Ollie. So then we could have Ollie and Holly. And I was really worried there. I had, I'm surprised that Dylan hasn't gotten out after he managed to leap over this fence. I'm surprised he hasn't... Whatever, Dylan. Maybe he's learned his lesson. Uh, yeah, I could give uh, Ollie a girlfriend, I guess. I'm not... Can, nah, hopefully you can actually get ostriches from these. Well, I think that's upsetting. But it doesn't mean that you can't. I'm pretty sure you can get ostriches. Let me know if you can't, but... Um, if you can, just uh, don't say anything. <laughs> okay, so let's... What the hell else do we have to do today? Ah, we have to fix this house. Now, do I have a lot of wood? No, I do not. I have some wooden slabs, and I think it was mainly made out of wooden slabs anyway. So, if we need more wood, I guess we can always walk over to some of the trees over there. I could show you guys some of the scenery over there, because I don't really think you've seen it either. Um, I was saying something a while ago. I don't remember what it is now. That happens a lot in this series. Uh, I guess I should also just thank you guys, speaking of um, such supportive comments that you've been leaving. So thank you for... Thank you for everything. I, I mean, you guys have been very nice. I have like 30 subs... Well, I'm about to have 30 subscribers right now. Uh, and many, many views. And a lot of you guys have been leaving comments. Uh, often very funny comments. Very supportive comments. Uh, Johnny, you're always very nice on Facebook. And it actually... Uh, Johnny wasn't a big fan of episode... Is it episode 8? I hope you don't mind me saying Johnny. Uh, I call him Johnny. That's not his name. His name's Paul. He's now Johnny on YouTube. You're Paul. I'm referring to Paul. Um, no, he actually gave me some good con constructive criticism on episode 8. So thank you, Paul. Or Johnny. Whatever you prefer to be called. I always call you Paul because I assume that's your name. Uh, but yes, thank you for that. Because it, I, I know you were kind of concerned about hurting my feelings. But believe me, I spoke to a friend um, in real life and he told me that you were not the only one, basically, who didn't like that episode. So do not feel bad. In fact, you should feel very cool for giving me such useful feedback. And, uh, like I say, all you guys leaving comments, it's very kind. And I need more wood, which is annoying, but it is not the end of the world. Why is my PC not turning on? I have to look at the PC because I have a list of things that I wanted to talk about today. And they also include the revelation that... Survival Craft, the game that we know and love and that you're looking at right now, unless you're looking away from your display, in which case, look at what I'm doing. Stop, stop being distracted. Um, I'm just kidding. You can do what you like. Uh, Survival Craft, the wonderful, wonderful game by the wonderful, wonderful developer Callus, is now on PC. Yes, guys. Isn't that amazing? Get excited, guys. Uh, only for Windows 8.1, I guess, uh, on the Windows Store. Which is a shame, because I do not have Windows 8. Um, but I will get it, just to play Survival Craft on PC. It's getting dark already. What the heck? Is it? Pretty sure it... Yeah. The sun's setting. Oh well. Well, let's just get a bit of wood. Um, yeah, I'm going to get Windows 8, so that I can play Survival Craft on PC. Because you get rid of all this uh, clutter on screen, like the these buttons right here. And also the uh, the buttons up top. And it makes for a much cleaner video, and hopefully you guys will prefer to see... You get, you get to see more of what I'm doing, basically. Doesn't that barn look very cool in the distance? Those of you who are saying no, uh, screw you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you're probably... I, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. I know it could be better, but... I'm not really the best builder in the world. And for me, that's pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, I know that some of you guys liked it. You left some very nice comments. And have I got... Oh, I have clothes on. I was kind of concerned that I didn't have clothes on. I wish it was cotton clothes, so I was a bit more civilised, but I uh, I resorted to beer fur. Part of me just likes wearing beer fur, I guess. Oh, I just remembered that I don't have a roof. Stuff can't get in here, right? Uh, I guess time will tell. I'm a little bit concerned now. I just realised as well, I'm replacing the roof with wood. Why am I doing that? You know what, Chuck? Like you said, some stuff just better with wood. I say that we stand together and we build our stuff out of wood who cares if it if it gets struck down by lightning then we will just rebuild it stronger and more wooden than ever before right guys you with me no you're all thinking i'm an idiot and i should build it out of stone aren't you maybe you're right you are certainly right i should build it out of stone but i've already begun building out of wood to be fair i don't really know what to build it out let's check the recipedia 
what should I build it out of? I mean, I know there's just regular stone. Which, uh, I don't really want to build it out of lime, so that's stupid. Granite is just like the smelted stone. That could be cool. Can, I think you can paint that as well, yeah. Hmm, I guess I could paint it. I'm not sure what colour I would paint it, but I could do that. Uh, you cannot make roofs out of pumpkins or uh, rye, so let's just ignore all this. I guess we're pretty much sticking to... I think granite might be the way to go if we want a uh, stone roof. I guess basalt is cool too, but... Hmm. I mean, the floor is already made out of basalt. I don't know. I kind of want to change up the house anyway because it's so small. I wonder who fell in... I don't, actually, I don't think I did fall in that hole. Hmm. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, my advice to you guys is to build out of stone. Even if I don't... Uh, I don't, don't follow my example because I'm not a very smart guy. Speaking of uh, like tips giving you guys, there was actually a pretty cool post on the Survival Craft subreddit the other day. Whoa, I nearly, I nearly went deep sea diving. Better take the scenic route. Uh, there was a good post on Reddit on our Survival Craft the other day, which was about uh, twenty. I think it was called like twenty five tips for noobs, basically. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm a noob. This is this is great content for me. So I looked it up, and it was basically like twenty five things that this guy who's been uh, playing Survival Craft for a while, by the sounds of it. Uh, some tips that he gave. So I think they might be useful to you guys. Probably not, because you guys are definitely not noobs, at least not in comparison to me. So uh, if you want, you could always click the link in the bottom of the description of this video. And uh, click on that. That will take you to the Survival Craft subreddit. And then from there, you can look for the post about 25 tips. And uh, maybe you'll find them useful. I'm going to be following a few of them uh, in the next few episodes. One of them mentioned something about... I think I think it mentioned something about cassowaries. That may not be the way that you pronounce that, by the way. Uh, I think it, it is. I don't know. Cassowaries apparently uh, drop loads of eggs. And my goddamn axe is broke. This is always the case. Uh, cassowaries apparently drop lots of lots and lots of eggs. Even more than Ollie the Ostrich. Hopefully more than Ollie the Ostrich. Because he's not been working very much, to be honest. I got the right mind to fire him as my chief egg layer. Uh, as my only egg layer, in fact. So apparently cassowaries are a good investment. Unfortunately, I have not seen a cassowary since episode 1, I don't think. I might have done, maybe I'm exhibiting how much of a noob I am. But I don't think I've seen one since episode 1. Uh, back at the old spawn point, which I don't even know where that is now. I know you can kind of find it using, um, like by following the shore or something. But that might, that might be what I have to do. I mean, I don't really know. I'm assuming that they're found in certain biomes. Uh, and I'm getting kind of cold because of this rain. But apparently they're found in certain biomes. Well, it seems like they're found in certain biomes anyway. And apparently not these ones. So, I'll, I'm not going to take on this tiger right now. Because I'm more concerned that I appear to be getting very, very cold. Very, very, very cold. It's, uh, it's a bit nippy out, as we'd say. In my region of the UK. Actually, no, no one would say that. But never mind. Uh, yeah, my farm's a bit run down. Winston's made a friend. I will call him... Uh, Warwick Davis. I don't know why. That's just what I chose. And, uh, okay, I'm getting a little bit warmer inside and out of the rain. That's good because I was getting a bit concerned there. So let's finish uh, fixing this roof. And by fixing, I mean doing half a job because it's just going to burn down eventually anyway. Uh, I guess I just need a few more of these. And there we go. Don't really need any more leaves, but I've got some anyway. My legs are getting cold. Do I have anything on my legs? No, I'm sure I did, but they've gone now. Must have they must have fallen off on my way home. Uh it's always happening to me. You guys you guys trousers always falling off or pants. And all the difference between America and the UK. Yeah, my, my pants always fall down. Uh that sounds like a horse. Did you guys hear that? It sounds like a horse is in trouble. Oh, it's a zebra. Well, a zebra is like a horse. It's like a horse that's uh, got some fashion sense, I guess. Can I ride these guys? I don't think you can. That's a shame. I wish I could ride a zebra. That'd be cool. He looks like he's got like a barcode all over his body. That's how I would describe zebras. They're like horses that have barcodes. Well, enough of um, discussing the differences between zebras and horses. That is just... How do I... 
He's a noisy zebra, man. Shh. I'm making a YouTube video. Uh, nearly done, guys. Nearly done. I know this is very exciting. So, uh, let me know, guys. Are you going to get Survival Craft for PC? It's very cheap. I believe it's $5. Uh, which is like £3.50 on the UK store. So, very cheap indeed. Um, especially for what you're getting. Like, at this point, Survival Craft really rivals... I say rivals, you know what I mean? It has a lot of uh, features. I think enough to make it a competitor to Minecraft PC. Um, so, I think for your money, that's very... I mean, Minecraft, as, as it is, is very cheap. So, Survival Craft is also very cheap, I would say. Uh. No more food. That's something you'd never hear me saying in real life. Um, which is bad. You should always sometimes, always sometimes say food is bad. What am I talking about? I think I've gone crazy. In fact, I know for sure I've gone crazy. All I wanted to do before I ended this episode was to see if the pumpkins had grown and they had not. I think these are slower growing than cotton, perhaps. I mean, this is a pretty hot biome, I guess. Like, it looks kind of uh, very green. Like, if you head on over that way, the grass seems to turn a different colour and you get colder easier. But maybe the pumpkins like colder environments, right? Because they kind of grow in the autumn or the fall, if you're American. Uh, so maybe they maybe they do okay in colder environments. I'm not really sure. I am not a gardener. Even though I said like I was the chief on Farmville a couple of episodes ago. Uh, well, let's go check out my best friends in the world. Okay, second best friends after... My lovely, lovely viewers who leave lovely, lovely comments and likes and subscribe and all that lovely stuff. Well, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed episode 10. Quite the milestone. Um, yeah, nearly 30 subscribers, 10 episodes. Quite the milestone indeed. And of course, Survival Craft itself has hit a milestone now that it's released for PC. So I really appreciate you guys watching. And I hope you have a very, very nice day indeed. Look at that bond, guys. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful barn?